Hi, this is Dennis Stanley, and I want to show you how to review a therapist's multiple choice examination result after you've completed a multiple choice examination. And this is on Lindsay Jones University. Lindsay Jones University is an online tool that can be accessible through your college if they have an account, or it's available to those who have purchased the, the home study package from Lindsay Jones to prepare for the TMC and clinical simulation exam offered by the NBRC. And so what you see here is that I have a have completed a TMC exam and in this case I only did 15 questions but whatever question length you do you end up in a score screen like this and I want to show you how to review this and then how to review the exam itself so right now it looks like I got a 73 percent on the exam and as you look at this, where you see I scored was right between these two arrows. This is important because what this says is that I scored above the CRT mark. So that means I'm a CRT. What I didn't do is score higher than the RRT mark. I really need to score higher than this mark to be eligible to take the clinical simulation exams. We might call that RRT eligible, for instance. And so if I had taken this exam in real life at the MBRC, what would really happen is that I would immediately become a CRT, but I would have to take this exam again or another version of an exam again so that I could get higher than the RRT and then be eligible to take the CLIN SIMS. Now further down here, and I've talked about this before, I can look at how I did on the recall questions. I got 80%, so I was pretty good with that. I, on the application questions, I got 100%, but on the analysis questions, I got 0%. And so that means uh, there was only 15 questions there, so I probably missed one or two of those, as you can see. And then you can come and see the details. You'll notice here in the different categories, I've talked about this in another video, but you can see how you did. It, gray means not tested. Green means that you've done well in that area. Red means, of course, that you were insufficient, and I need to look at that a little bit more. And then yellow means you're right on the edge. You should still look at that, of course, if you're yellow. And then you can further come down here and see how you did. See how I, I really scored poorly in analysis. And you can see that up here that I, I got 0% there. So you can see that. Now, to review the exam, all you have to do is press this button here. And we'll do that in just a minute, but I want to tell you that one of the problems with reviewing the exam at this point is that you're probably tired, especially if you've done a full-length exam. Now, I've only done 15 questions, so that only took me you know, a few minutes, so I have time to go back and review this. But we realize that if you've been there for three hours doing 140 questions, you're not going to want to sit there and then look at those same questions and read all the rationale. That would probably take you another who, who knows how many hours. And so you can do that later. It remembers and records forever as long as you're in the system. It'll keep all of that data for you. But now in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and hit this review, and I'll show you how to go about that in it from another point of view in just a little bit. But it takes you right back to the questions that you were given. And this time, of course, you really don't, you don't worry about changing answers. It really won't let you. But it shows you that you hit C. It even says down here that my answer was C, and the correct answer was C. That's why I got a big check mark here. And the best part, of course, is that there is an explanation down here. Make sure when you read this that you understand the explanation. A lot of people are tempted to try to memorize this question. Well, I have news for you. You're not going to see that question on the exam. So don't memorize our questions. We write questions like the exam and that they're the same cognitive level, same subject areas, and they follow the matrix. They're very close in that, in that you can they feel the same, but they are definitely different questions. And now from here, I can use my arrow key, or I can come down here and just go to the next question and see how I did here. Looks like I got this one right, too. I like to read the explanation even if I've gotten it right. Some people whiz past that because they think they understand it, but very often you might be surprised at why you got it right, or you might learn another piece of information that solidifies your understanding of that concept. And so then I can go next one, and I got this one right too, and you know this is just how you go and review. All right, now here's one that I've got wrong. Uh, obviously, here's the question. I hit that the answer was C, but actually the answer was A, so you can go back up and look at that. Keep in mind that if I came to this question again on another exam, 
the C, or excuse me, the correct answer is in the A position, that might have moved. So we try to keep your brain from memorizing, oh, I remember this question. The answer is A. No, you actually have to read them and understand them. And then, of course, you can come down here and read the explanation. Some of the explanations get quite long. If they go off screen for you, you can always scroll down and read them all. Some of them are really long. I got that one correct as well as you can see. And so I'll just use my... I'll use my buttons on my keypad or my keyboard now just to go through these. And I got that one right. And I could just glance at that and say, yeah, yeah, I understood why I got that right. That was just something I had memorized. Got that one right as well. And then on this one, it looks like I got that right. And I'm just slowing down to make sure I read the explanation uh, just in case there's something new to learn. Now here's one that I got wrong. And so that I can read that and understand that a little bit better. Uh, let me come over here and just show you the whole screen. And then, of course, I can just keep going. Here's another one that I got wrong, and I wasn't really paying attention here. And here's another one that I got wrong. And you can see why out of 15 questions, I got a 73%. I got this one correct. There's a little graph there. And then, of course, as I go through, I got this one correct and this one. Once I get to question 15, remember, right down here, and I go to the next one, uh, this just takes you back into a big circle. And so you can see I've done reviewing this exam. I can go ahead and exit. And it takes me back to my results, and then I can go back to my dashboard. Keep in mind, you don't have to review the exam at that point. You could log off, come back to your dashboard, and your most recent activity will be right here. I can review that and just go right back to that very same exam. There's my 15 questions, and I can look at every single answer. It remembers that the whole time. And now I'll just go ahead and exit out here again and go back to my dashboard again. If you can't see it here because you've done some other things, then you might need to go into View All Activities and go find that particular session on that date and time. And then you can review, look at the result or review that particular examination. And so let me just kind of go back here. And as you see, I can always go back to here. And then when I exit, it always takes me back to my results, where I can go back to my dashboard from there. So I hope that's been helpful, but that's how you would review a therapist multiple choice examination on Lindsay Jones University.